Hey guys, so today we're making shea butter and I'm going to show you how I use it to style my natural hair. So we're going to start with one cup of raw shea butter and I really like this um, mixture because it's 100% all natural ingredients. So take the shea butter, go ahead and put it into another pot and you're going to heat it using the steam of another big pot that you set aside with boiling water. So now that you've heated up your shea butter, you're going to go ahead and take the olive oil and add 3 ounces of extra virgin olive oil. And then you're going to use 2 tablespoons of almond oil. To and then now you're going to use the vitamin E and you're going to add 1 teaspoon. Alright, so now that you have your shea butter, you're going to start on dry, stretched hair. I'm going to start with my side angled part, and then I'm going to divide my hair into five sections. Two sections that I'm going to put on the side, and then one section just at the top. I like putting a section at the top because I feel like it just gives my hair more volume and it keeps my hair from looking flat. And like me and my Nana got the same hairstyle, so yeah. Then I'm going to start on the back section. I'm going to do three twists per section. So I'm going to separate out enough for a third of the hair. Grab my shea butter. And I put the shea butter on first um, because I don't want my hair to revert. Then I use flaxseed gel. Now this is going to give my hair a little bit of hold. And I smooth that down the length of my hair. Then I'm just going to start doing a regular flat twist. And then once I get about a three or four twists after I leave my scalp, I'm going to separate out one part of the flat twist and just clip that out the way. And then with the remaining section, I'm going to roll a perm rod onto the end. So I tuck my end on the perm rod, and then I just start twisting it up. And then I secure it into place and do the same thing on the other side.
Alright so guys, after you moisturize the length of your hair, you're going to go ahead and grab a little bit more and add some to your ends. Just to keep them moisturized. And then go ahead and smooth on your flaxseed gel. So here I'm just going to walk you guys through the flat twist. So take a section directly in the front, divide that into two sections, and then you're going to start your flat twist. So you're going to twist and then keep picking up just a little bit of hair as you go and making sure that your fingers are going all the way through every single time that you twist. And then every time you twist you just add a little bit more hair until you're almost until there's no more hair left to add. You're going to do about three more twists and then pin that out the way. Then with the remaining section add a little bit of flaxseed gel, smooth that down the hair, and then add your perm rod. So you're going to tuck the end and then wrap your hair. So notice that I wrap it around and not necessarily roll it. Um, that's what's going to give you um, a different curl besides a spiral. So when you take out your other section, if you notice that it does come unraveled, it's okay. Just twist it right back up and keep it moving. So tuck the end and then wrap your hair around the perm rod. And then when you get to the end, wrap it as, as far up as you can and then just secure it into place. So in total, I have about 15 flat twists and 30 perm rods on the end. And now I'm just going to allow this to air dry, which is a major key. So after it's dry, I'm just going to go ahead and take out the perm rods. And as I started taking them out, I think the thing that struck me the most was just how soft and how defined the curls were. I mean, my hair just, it felt good. It was soft and the curls were just so springy and I was just really excited when I started to take them out. So now I'm going to start taking down the twist and I'm going to just slowly start to unravel each flat twist being really careful not to cause any unnecessary frizz. Um, you just want to take your time and be really patient, especially in the front of your hair. So just go ahead and take a pick and fluff out those roots just to give yourself a little bit more volume. And guys, I am really pleased with these results. I feel like I haven't seen this type of definition in a long time and I think it's because I used all natural products. There were no synthetic products at all and I feel like that's why my hair responded in, in the way that it did. And it's because I used products that were good for it. My hair is healthier after doing the style and that's all I want. To just keep doing things to make my hair feel healthy. If you want to purchase some Shea Butter, I put the link for aloe products in the description box. And I can also show you guys how I used and made my flaxseed gel in another video. So. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you feel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.